Hello again and welcome to Ships and Gills. I think we've got uh, about two or three more matches I think in the Phoenix before I get uh, enough to qualify for the Omaha. If it's anything like the Phoenix, I'm going to love it because uh, I think the Phoenix, in my opinion, is better than the St. Louis, although it's a lot different type of ship, but I think I prefer the, the faster, longer range to the uh, St. Louis, to be honest, but... Um, we will see, so I'm just going to have a look around, see where everybody's going as per usual and uh, and then head off. I can't stress enough how important this bit is because on the times in the past where I've gone off on my own and run into some enemy, you just die almost instantly unless you're fast enough to get out of there or you've got enough skills to get yourself out of there. Um, so I'm just going to uh, make sure I'm not the only one. So safety in numbers so they've got something else to shoot at other than me <laughs> off we go <laughs> Okay, just having a little fun there, uh, playing with this Clemson. Oh, and there he goes. Nice disabling shot. Again, firing high explosive because he's a destroyer. Got a few hits on him there. Still trying to lead him. He's uh, heading back towards the island now, so maybe that might be a little bit easier. Uh, yeah, disabled him again. And he's crashed into the... Uh, island which that's very convenient for me uh, <laughs> as soon as I just hammered him again and and again no somebody else got him I think okay another candidate here yeah, a fellow phoenix firing at me oh dear well he's got something to worry about as I've just uh, released torpedoes remembering of course being another phoenix he's got them too so uh, I'm just straightening up just in case he's decided to throw some at me. I mean, he easily avoided the ones I uh, tossed his way. And of course, he's a cruiser, so I'm firing armor piercing at him. And I just got a citadel there and another citadel. So uh, he's not even shooting at me. So let's see if I can get some more hits on him. Someone's fired t two lots of torpedoes at him anyway. Although I think they're coming from. I'm not sure where those torpedoes actually came from, to be honest. Um, but uh, hopefully next time, will I get him? Will I get him? Oh, <laughs> oh they came from uh, aircraft. That's why. I'm sure so I'll learn how to uh, identify aircraft torpedoes as opposed to ship torpedoes at some point. But uh, oh, there he goes. He took me long enough, didn't it? <laughs> anyway, next. Okay, it's a St. Louis, and from my time in the St. Louis, I know that at this range, he can't do a thing to me. And he's also too slow to catch up with me if I'm heading away from him as well. So he's kind of a little bit, unless at my mercy at the minute, unless A, I miss him, or B, I can start getting hit by something else and it takes my attention away. So, uh, well... Well, I'm just giving this St. Louis something to worry about. I did want to mention that, by the way, that I am on a standard free account. I'm not on a premium account. So any uh, uh, XP, etc. you see at the end of the match, I don't know if it shows up as calculating on a premium any different to it does on a standard, but, uh, but it is standard experience. Just wanted to uh, clarify that and as I head towards the edge of the world <laughs> again. Okay, I'm going to let that St. Louis go as he's just gone behind that island anyway and I don't want to get uh, 
too close to anything uh, that could do me serious damage so I'm just gonna have a look around now and see where to go next I've just uh, seems to be <coughs> excuse me something else over there uh, where the St. Louis went um, oh my I think I wonder what he's doing keep an eye on him yeah he seems to be coming my way yep he's just coming out behind there so we'll take some pot shots of him um, bearing in mind of course looking at the map that that green dot due, uh, due south as the the map square is uh, is our carrier so I'm wondering whether he's going carrier hunting mm. so as much as I love carriers we can't have that um, so I'm going to engage this Mr. Mayogi and see what I can do. Obviously, I've now swapped back to high explosive given he's a battleship and I've no chance of penetrating him. Oh, and it's oh, he's firing back at me, the little bugger. So, <laughs> try and avoid these uh, shots uh, as they come in. Yep. Uh, he missed me. Clean miss. So, uh, just kept piling on the pain and uh, circle around and keep following him. Okay, the battleship seems to be turning round and we've got a St. Louis there as well. So uh, let's lay some pain into the St. Louis. I think it's the same one from earlier. I've changed to armor piercing. Nope, missed him, but uh, he's turning, so let's see if I can get a bit better shot on him. Try again. Just keeping an eye on what's going on around me. Yep, that's his range, so let's start laying in some pain. He's getting hit from numerous other people. I'm not sure actually how many, but uh, someone's hitting him with that explosive anyway, because he's on fire. Uh, I've just had a few more hits from my armor piercing. So let's get rid of him. He's uh, not looking too healthy now. We've still got that battleship down there. Oh, all right. I've just uh, had another citadel. He's got. He's gonna go down soon. I mean, there's only a slither left. Oh, missed him completely that time. The uh, battleship's shooting at the carrier. That's the uh, Saint Louis gone. So now we need to. Uh, pay attention to the battleship uh, swapping back to uh, high explosive let's just hope that the carrier can keep himself alive long enough for well it looks like me and the carrier to get rid of this battleship uh, I'd be I hope he keeps alive because uh, it would be nice to be the cavalry going to the rescue anyway just laying on some uh, High explosive. Hopefully, I'll get his uh, range on this one as I just missed the previous shots. Yeah, starting to hit now. So, uh, just having a look around, make sure I'm not going to crash into anything. That carrier and making sure what the health of the carrier still is. It is not very healthy. Oh, and he's just taking another bash. He's uh, definitely uh, a little bit worse for wear now. And I know I sound like a commentary on a uh, horse race at this point, but uh, it's the carrier ahead by a head. Oh, that really didn't make sense. <laughs> Any <laughs> anyway, oh, and the battleship's crashed into the side of the world. Can we lay some pain onto him? Yep, yeah, he's getting hit by uh, another ship. I don't know if that's the carrier. And now he's on fire. So... <laughs> I think I'm running out of breath. Um, just laying lots of pain on him. I'm astonished that that carrier is actually still alive. And yes, we can now see the carrier just heading into the uh, into the shot. It must be, I don't know. It must be like a. There can't be much left of him. Oh, I think he's on to double figures, maybe. Um, <laughs> how, how he's staying alive, I have no idea. That now battleship is now burning from stem to stern. I think there's at least two, possibly three or four places. Oh, and the battleship's gone. And the carrier survived. 
well happy with that. I know it wasn't just me. There was uh, somebody else over to uh, just in front of me, but I think we did a really good job keeping that carrier alive. And uh, I suspect that's probably what we should do as well. So anyway, that was a really long commentary section. So I'm going to shut up now and put some more music on and forward it. Okay, uh, South Carolina to uh, to my front. Only three enemy ships left, so we outnumber them two to one. So hopefully we may win this. Um, plus, to be honest, the counter is way ahead for us anyway. Um, again, swapped back to uh, high explosive. He's shooting at me. Oh, he clipped me with one, I think. Um, but, uh, just land some fiery pain onto him. It's also worth noting to try and throw the aim off a bit. I am actually uh, heading A straight for him, so I present a smaller target, and B, I'm adjusting my speed quicker and slower, so uh, his shots could easily fall too short or too long. Um, so, uh, well, that's the theory anyway, and he just missed, so it seems to be uh, doing the job while I uh, open up with my. Uh, forward batteries onto him he's now on fire let's see if we can add some more pain to him is he on fire again no no still just burning in one spot else going down quite quick now so uh, he's not gonna last too much longer but then again I've taken some uh, pain as well oh he's gone he's sunk I'm not sure who sunk him but he's gone so uh, we've just by the looks of it, two carriers left now. Shh, I'm hunting flat tops. Okay, we seem to have an aircraft carrier convention going on over there, which is uh, very convenient for us. Seeing as they're both in one spot and we don't have to hunt them. Okay, and you know what's coming now. Let the shells fly. Speaking of shells, I'm actually uh, firing armor piercing at this carrier because I basically just want to sink him as quick as possible. If I was firing uh, high explosive, I, um, I would stop him launching any aircraft, obviously, if I set it on fire. But uh, to be honest, there's only two of them left and there's six of us, so um, I'm not overly worried. So I'm just going to pummel him with uh, armor piercing. That's assuming I actually hit him. <laughs> oh, I've started hitting him now. So there we go. Okay, and it's at this point I learn an important lesson. Not to get too overconfident and say they are just carriers. Because, lesson one, bang. Lesson two, bang. Carriers are very dangerous. <laughs> so, they nearly killed me then. So, they didn't. And the game's over now, but, uh, you know, that's the lesson learned anyway. Great match. Victory, obviously. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, and thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time. Goodbye.